What's up guys, Heeking here, bringing you some film news. Um, it's the 3rd of January, it's the morning. Well, yeah, technically it's the early afternoon actually, it's 12.35 at the moment. I just woke up and thought, hey, let's start the new year with some videos. I know it's, it's been a long while since I did videos, okay, I have been exhausted and tired and busy, so here I am. And what better way to start than uh, start off with some bad news, or maybe good news depending on who you are, but personally I see this as bad news. So yeah, um, some recent leaks came out regarding the movie for The Flash. Now, are we all excited for that? Me, I was looking forward to it. I was kind of excited for it. I was like, oh, okay, we're finally getting a Flash movie. Ezra Miller's going to be in here. We're getting Michael Keaton back as Batman. Ben Affleck's going to be coming back as Batman as well. To sort of maybe finish up his storyline in a weird way. I mean, uh, you'd think after what, what we got with uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League that we would potentially get uh, a part two or three with that. Maybe with someone else directing it, but at least following the template that was set with that. But no, because if this leak is to be believed, uh, none of that's going to ever happen. Uh, in fact, it feels like we're all going to get a reboot. So yeah, um, before I start, guys, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into this. So yeah, there was a... So this person that's leaking this, they leaked everything about uh, the Spider-Man movie, they got that right, they leaked a bunch of other stuff regarding some of the shows I think, and uh, the new Doctor Strange film coming out, and uh, a lot of the stuff has been basically uh, correct for the most part, then basically about 90% accurate, 95% accurate, somewhere between that margin there, so to say that this seems like bullshit is... Yeah, you, you you can't really take you, you can't really take this with a grain of salt because it does it does feel like this is going to be legit and it does feel like something that Warner Brothers would actually do because you know they're assholes. So uh, yeah, so yeah, Grace Grace Randolph posted this apparent leak and this other person would later on go on to confirm it. Now I don't know if she's reporting on what she's heard from this person, but yeah, she says the Flash. Batflick's final appearance. Old footage of Carvel used on TV. New Justice League formed. Supergirl is new Superman. Keaton working with Black Canary picks Batgirl as new Batman. This is new DC. Let's be open-minded and give it a fair shot. Be open-minded and give it a fair shot? <laughs> Coming from you, that's, uh, that's a bit hypocritical, isn't it? Uh, I'm just gonna say hell no, no. I'm not. I'm not gonna give this a fair shot. Why? Um, because Batman and Superman are the Justice League, along with Wonder Woman, Aquaman, The Flash. I'm sorry. You let me get this straight. They want to replace Batman and Superman with uh, Supergirl and Batgirl. Let that sink in. And Michael Keaton is gonna be the new Batman, but he's basically gonna be this sort of old mental type role, apparently. And Black Canary is going to be in this as well. You know, I mean, was Birds of Prey well received? I mean, I I enjoyed aspects of it, but Black Canary was not one of the characters I enjoyed in that. I preferred Huntress and Harley Quinn a lot more than freaking uh, Black Canary and uh, uh, what's that policewoman's name? And uh, Cassandra Cocaine was absolutely butchered. If anyone needs a reboot, right? Like, that, that character needs it badly. But yeah, um... This is just, this is just a, uh, yeah, and apparently the person who, who actually is confirming this is My Time to Shine Hello. Now this is the person who's been leaking a whole bunch of comic book uh, movie news and they've been getting a lot of it right. And they pretty much say, movie ends with Flash and Supergirl and Shazam forming a new Justice League. Supergirl now, the main soups of Earth, Keaton is Batman and Batgirl become the new Batman after her film. Right. Right, right, right. Right, and this was posted on New Year. This was New Year, okay? This was posted on freaking New Year. <laughs> like, what a way to start off the New Year with, with, some of this, with some of this DC news. And basically, all I'm getting from it is, is that, oh, um, apparently, basically, it's wiping the slate clean when it comes to uh, Man of Steel, BVS, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's wiping all of that out of continuity. So Henry Cavill's not coming back. 
Ben Affleck is not coming back. Now, we've had suspicions, of course, that those actors would not return. We've had suspicions. Uh, ben Affleck made it very clear that he was kind of done, but still... You know, for him to come back and shoot those little reshoots with uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, you kind of, you, it kind of made it seem like maybe he would return if the script was good. I get why he wouldn't though, because he's, you know, he's just tired and that, like, understandable. But still, maybe if anyone can convince him to come back, it would be Zack Snyder, right? And then, of course, he's come back for the Flash movie, but his role apparently is very, very small. And then there's the fact that Henry Cavill, he wants to come back. He's made it very clear he wants to come back, and yet Warner Brothers does not want to bring him back. This is a guy who was popular with the fans for the most part, who is a geek, and who has pretty much gone into popularity thanks to the Witcher series, and they don't want to bring him back? Are you kidding me? Like, with good writing, this dude would probably be the best Superman ever, and they don't want to bring him back. And they want to replace him with a, a multiverse version of Supergirl and Batgirl. Jesus Christ, like, you can tell that Warner Brothers is, is got their hands in, like, full on into this to the point where it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna reboot the DC. So what does this mean for the other movies then? What does this mean for Wonder Woman? What does this mean for Aquaman? What does this mean for Shazam? I mean, it says here that Shazam is gonna be at the end of this movie. Now, the director for this hasn't said anything, like, for the Shazam sequel, you, you know, he hasn't said anything. Like, he seems surprised as much as we are about it, apparently. So does that, does that mean Shazam's going to cameo in this? Is it going to be an end credit scene? Uh, like, what does this mean? What does this all mean, right? Well, first of all, what it means is, is that obviously they're wiping the slate clean with the DC Universe movies, okay? Man of Steel, BBS, and Justice League are getting wiped out. Henry Cavill's not coming back. Ben Affleck's kind of not coming back. We're not getting a Justice League 2 or 3 set in the Snyderverse, basically. Like, it's all getting rebooted. God knows what this means for the Suicide Squad characters and the Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Uh, yeah, like, Warner Brothers clearly doesn't give a shit. Then using The Flash as an excuse to disguise the failures, basically, at continuity and trying to reboot this universe in a way that they feel will work a lot better by having Supergirl and Batgirl as the main leads now with, obviously, I guess, uh, yeah, The Flash and uh, Shazam in there as well included and I'm assuming Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman depending on what Wonder Woman 3 is going to be and Aquaman wherever that's going to go wherever, uh, whatever's happening with that like God knows um, but yeah bye bye to Batflick and Henry Cavill as Superman which is a piss take I'm sorry that is a bloody piss take I'm someone who's invested in this who was invested in this I liked I liked the Man of Steel I wasn't a big fan of BVS, but I enjoyed the ultimate cut, and I loved Zack Snyder's Justice League. I freaking loved that film. For me, that's like like the best DC movie they've done in, in years. Like, that was great. And for them to just ignore that, to reboot it with The Flash, like, oh yeah, because we can't. Screw the style of us, screw the fans. It's like, that's what it feels like. It feels like a big F you to fans who wanted that movie, got it, and announced, you know, Warner Brothers boy was like, how can we wipe the slate clean? What can we do to basically you know, make it so we don't have to do a sequel to all of this crap, we'll, we, we'll use the Flash and the multiverse, blah blah blah, to reboot everything, and we'll, yeah, that's what it feels like, and it's, you know, this this could have worked maybe a, a few years down the line, but for them, like, this doesn't even feel like a Flash movie now at this point, because if this is all true, then this is all, the, all the movie is, is pretty much set up, like, the Flash is not even, the Flash is just being used as a tool, basically, to implement this a uh, new narrative, this new direction, and it sucks. I'm sorry, but it, it bloody, bloody sucks. Um, I mean, when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense now, but it, it still bloody sucks as hell. Like, uh, they really don't know what they're doing at this point. And having Supergirl and Batgirl, uh, like, forced in as the new, as the new world's finest, basically, uh, that's... I don't see that working out very well. I really don't. People love Batman. People love... I mean, at this point, no one... I don't think anyone's going to give a crap about Batman in the Justice League since we're getting the Matt Reeves Batman trilogy and that's going to be its own thing. And to be quite fair, yeah, I, I prefer my solo movies a lot more. I honestly would have preferred 
solo movies and then you know a big uh like sort of connection uh, of a team of film basically what i'm saying is you should have just focused on doing solo films and just doing like trilogies for all of them you know just tell their stories just have fun with that and then and then do the big team of films after you've told all of their stories and that you know sort of make it like they're not in continuity and then figure out a way to bring it into continuity maybe by doing the multiverse thing and then that could have worked out in that respect Instead, we got this entire mess, but really, it's Warner Brothers' fault. I don't blame Zack Snyder for this. It's not his fault. He did what he had to do with what he had to work with, given what Warner Brothers told him to do. So, you know, all blame goes onto them, but he still made it work. He, he started off great with Man of Steel for the most part. He flopped with BBS, definitely. But again, Warner Brothers' fault for not, you know, allowing him to do the bloody ultimate cut in the first place. And with Justice League, he improved. It was an improvement. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the characters. I loved Cyborg in that movie. Flash was better handled. Uh, yeah, Aquaman wasn't all that in there, but he was still good. And his movie was, was pretty much fun for the most part. And Wonder Woman, as always, Gal Gadot was great, except for a sequel. But still, you, you know, you have a clear direction of where to take these movies now, or where to take these characters, and this is what you're going to do. You're going to reboot it, like, just because it's about to get started, like... What the hell, right? Um, I'm not happy with this. I'm not. And I can't see how a lot of people... I can see a lot of people being happy with this. Like, because they... You know, those who didn't like uh, Snyder, the haters, basically, are going to be happy with this. But it has its fans. This does have its share of fans. And, and, I, and people are going to be rightfully pissed. So, yeah. I'm not really looking forward to the future of uh, the DCEU at this point. This very well might be the last film I see and then I'm just like, I'm going to call it quits, that's it, it's done. Because um, that's what it feels like, it feels like a goodbye to all of that. And at that point they're just going to do whatever they want to do and it's like, I, I'm not going to care anymore. Yeah, well done, well done Warner Brothers, you, you, you screwed the pooch like you always do, well done. Yeah, that's really all my thoughts for this guys, that's really all I can really say. Like and subscribe. Hopefully this works out better in the future, but I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening, guys. Take care and bye.